when I think of the cross, I think of the insults and the mockery that came from the crowd. I think of a painful 39 lashes and the excruciating pain from a thorn-filled crown. When I think of the cross, I, I think of brutal suffering and the ultimate sacrifice that Jesus willingly stepped into. You see, the greatest act of love is for the innocent to stand in place for the guilty. And that's exactly what Jesus did when he stood in place for you and me. It's what we call grace. And in a moment of grace, far beyond anything that we could ever comprehend. Jesus took on all our anger, all our anxiety, all our brokenness, all our pain, all our past, every single mistake, all our shame. He took on all the things that we try to carry, but they're just so heavy. But Jesus didn't come just to simply take those things. He came to give us freedom. Because of him, you're no longer lost to your past. Because of him, you're no longer a slave to your shame. Because of him, you're no longer a prisoner to your pain. Because of him, you're no longer bound to your sin. Because of Jesus, we can actually take these things and lay them down at the foot of the cross. See, God's love has liberated us, you and me free to forever walk in the light of His amazing grace. Amen. 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 Because of Him, you are free. Because of Him, you are free. Because of Him, it is all on the cross. Because of Him, He took on all your sins. Because of Him, you are free from sin. Amen. We can begin to rise and just begin to praise the name of the Lord. It's okay to open your mouth and say hallelujah. It's okay to open your mouth and say thank you, Jesus. It's okay to say thank you, Lord. It's okay to just praise him for just a moment. It's okay to not even be fake about it. It's okay to praise him for real. We're in a house that's dedicated to praising the Lord so we can praise him for real. Think about some of the things that he delivered you from. Think about some of the things he saved you from. Think about where you should be right now. What should have happened to you. What didn't happen to you because of him. Because of him. Only because of Christ. Only because he took on your burdens. He took on your sin and laid down his life. Amen. And he is risen. He is risen. Can we praise God for him being risen? Can we praise him for being a risen Savior? Is anybody glad about the fact that he is risen? When they went and looked in the grave, he wasn't there. Amen. Amen. Welcome to the Citadel of Praise. This is the church where we love God and we love people. Thank you all for coming to worship with us today. Thank you for coming to want to hear about a risen Savior. Amen. 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 Make sure while you're standing, you pull out your phones and share this service. Somebody needs to know about that risen Savior. Somebody needs to know that because of him, they can put all it all on the cross because of him, because of him that they are free. So make sure you share this service. Also, sometime today, stop by the Citadel app. Make sure you go to the prayer wall besides looking at all the other things that are there. Make sure you pray for those people because we all need prayer. I know I need prayer, so I'm sure that you might need prayer too. Amen. Amen. Of course, we are going to go into prayer. Remember that Children's Church is next door in the basement. Remember that youth session is going on also next door on the second floor. Amen. You can bring them up if you already haven't done so, and somebody will escort them next door. So today we are praying for Deacon Charlie Harris and the loss of his mother, uh, Alice Harris, whose services were held on yesterday. We're also praying for Minister Shante Govin and the loss of her cousin, Avery Jackson, whose services were also held on yesterday. We're praying for our own mother, Pat Wallington, and the loss of her sister. There are no arrangements at this time. 
And then we're praying for another one of our very own brother, Ken Allen, who's a pastor's chief armor bearer in the loss of his mother, uh, Gwendolyn Allen. The visitation is at Claw's Funeral Home, which is on West Warren, Detroit. And it's on Friday, April the 5th. And it's from 4 to 7 p.m. And then the funeral is on Saturday, April 6th, right here at Citadel. The family hour at 11 a.m. and the home going service at 12 p.m. On our prayer list this morning, we have Sister Deborah Hampton. Of course, you know that's Tish's mom for, uh, recovering from surgery this past week and desires prayer for a speedy recovery uh, and blood pressure levels to be regulated. Amen. Praying that blood pressure levels are regulated. We're also praying for Sister Barbara Harris, Brother John Mitchell's aunt, and Sister Marilyn Lavelle's uh, sister, who was in the hospital this past week and desires prayer for healing. Then we have, we're praying for those who were involved in that ship crash, that crash at the Francis Scott Bridge. We're praying for those families and the ones who lost their lives. Amen. So there's much to be prayed for. Make sure you pray one for another. Now we have prayer of our own Elder Calvin. Happy Resurrection Sunday. Oh, come on. Happy Resurrection Sunday. Look at your neighbor and say, he got up. Wrong neighbor. Look at somebody else and say, I'm so glad he got up. As we were in the minister's prayer room, something dropped in my spirit and God said when you are, resurrection simply means a shift from what it was to what it is. So if you're glad about what God is shifting in your life, I dare you to lift your hands and say, God, I thank you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we honor you, we glorify you, we magnify your name, God. We come on this Easter Sunday, oh God, just to give you all the glory, all the praise, and all the honor, God. We thank you for what was done, oh God, but we thank you for what's getting ready to happen, oh God. We thank you for every dead, dead thing in our lives, God, that you're resurrecting, oh God. We thank you, God, for every turn, oh God. We thank you every, every, every for every elevation, oh God. We thank you for the nuances, oh God. We thank you for breakthroughs, oh God. We thank you for miracles, oh God. We thank you for signs, oh God. We thank you for wonders, oh God. We praise you in this atmosphere and ask, oh God, that you would just shower, shower down your blessings upon us, oh God. Speak a word, oh God, that will transform lives, oh God. Be in the midst, oh God, that we can see you and your glory. We thank you, oh God, for our pastor and the word that's coming forth, oh God. Elevate this service, oh God. Set us on fire. Here, oh God, let your rain fall down. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Somebody lift up your voice in this house. Come on, lift up your voice. I can't hear you. Hallelujah. Is anybody glad to be in the house of the Lord one more time? One more time. I could have been dead and sleeping in my grave. Hallelujah. But God said not so. I want to hear you praise him. Come on, open up your mouth. Hallelujah. Let's get excited today. Hallelujah. He reigns. Thank you, Lord God. Come on, put your hands together right there. Come on. Oh, my. I want you to help us sing this. Come on. Oh, hell, say. Oh, hell, the king of Abraham. Oh, hell, the great. Oh, hell, the great I am. He's the only king. He's the only king who died and rose again. He's the only king. He's the only king who His reign will never end. He reigns, he reigns. Oh, somebody just bow before the king. Thank you, Lord God. Say, oh, hell to praise. He's the only king who died and rose again. He's the only king whose reign will never
together right there. Come on. Nothing can beat them. Nothing can kill them. Nothing can dethrone our God. Come on, let's say that together. Nothing can beat. Together, bless the Lord on this resurrection morning. Yes, God. Will you just elbow somebody? I know since COVID, y'all don't like hugging and high five your neighbor and all that stuff no more. Well, if you just elbow somebody and say hello, Merry, I'm about to say Merry Christmas, Happy Easter. Well, y'all just elbow somebody and just say, Hey, how you doing? How many of y'all feel good? Hold on, quiet. Just wait, just wait. Just everybody, just sit down. Wait, follow me. Amen. There you go. God bless y'all today. Amen. Everybody just relax. Follow me. Amen. God bless y'all. Everybody feeling good today? Listen, here's what I want y'all to do. You all that's in this room on today, you all that's watching me by streaming, will you share this service? You all that at home, share this service. Share this service with somebody. Um, you all, I can talk to somebody online real quick. Y'all that's at home, 
said, hey, I don't feel like going to church. I know it's Easter. Amen. I know it's Resurrection Sunday. Will you share this service? Do your evangelistic, amen, uh, ministry online today and share this service. We're on three platforms, website, citadelapraise.org. We're on Facebook and we are on YouTube. Thank you all. Y'all that's in church, you want to say, you know, you want to go on your phones and see our service. Amen. Thank you for doing that also. A couple things we're doing today because it's Resurrection Sunday. Our children are celebrating the resurrection of Jesus Christ in their own way. Amen. They got pizza and stuff over there. Amen. Pizza party. They got arts and crafts and some things you don't see on the screen. They got candy and stuff and they're doing a lot of things for 12 and under. If you'd like to send your children over there, safe environment. I got security. I have a staff that's been, that's been vetted and background checked. So I can say, you know, we can, we, can, we can assure that we have done our due diligence. You want to send your child over there? You can, you can bring them down or send them down. We'll walk them over and you'll pick them up. The school business is right behind us, just a few steps behind us. You can bring your children down. Hey Amen. Yeah, okay. I see somebody in the back maybe bringing them out. Yeah, let's get him. He's like, I'm getting rid of him. Hey Amen. I ain't mad at you. Right? Like, yeah, that's all you had to say was pizza. We might spoil their appetite a little bit with candy. Forgive us. If, now, if you don't want them to have nothing, send a note. He's fasting. You know, send, 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 no. Amen. That child is on a diet. Amen. Hold on. Just keep them all right there. We'll walk them over. If you want to send them, or you can walk with us, we'll take them over. Um, also, our teenagers. There you go, little man. Amen. Our teenagers are over there. If you got some teenagers there, come on. And, you know, and ushers, y'all can fill in seats as people coming in late. With all, come on, young people, right here. Right here. Yeah, hey, hey, right here. Yeah, how you doing? Y'all look so, y'all got y'all Easter hook up on? Oh, look at they so cute. Oh man. Um, our teen, any teenagers between ages like 12, 13, all the way to 18 or 19, they're in there, they're having like a little session on the day, and I think we got some extra food for them. Amen. So they got food on this resurrection Sunday. Teenagers, you can come down this way. Y'all probably can walk yourself over, but we'll show you how to go. Amen. All y'all that stand here with me, I got bad news. I don't have nothing. Amen. They got food and candy. I just got the word of God. So some of y'all stuck with me. That's all. I'm sorry. I, you know, I didn't bring no cupcakes, no food truck, no Cinnabon. Sorry, y'all. But I promise you with the help of the Lord, I'll bless you with the word of the Lord. The Bible said, man shall not live by bread alone. Is it hot in here? Oh, I'm hot. Yeah, maybe it's just, thought it was just me. Amen. All right. Um, you know something, what we can do, Deeks, we can crack, I mean, don't crack them hard. Nobody say no. All right, well, whatever. All right. All right, it's cool. Church ain't good. Anybody grew up with church wasn't good unless it was hot. Anybody, you ain't been to church a long time, but you remember the church where you, know, you got out of church, you was pulling your pants, was sticking to you and stuff. You was doing this. And, you know, you and shouted and stuff. Amen. So we're going to have a good old hot Holy Ghost fire service in here today. Amen. So we'll go home sweating. Here's what I want to do real quickly. Here's what I want to do real quickly. Amen. Because it's Easter Sunday and I got a staff here and they want to go home earlier today. We want to bless the Lord in the spirit of giving. Amen. I know we are giving church so it don't matter. We take it up front at the end. This kind of church, I don't have to play games. I don't have to get you fired up with your emotions to give. We are a giving church. So just prepare your tithes and offer. Matter of fact, you can hit, cut the lights back on for a minute. Amen. Hit them up. Bring them up. Amen. You can bring them back down when the choir comes up. Okay. Amen. So please catch that. Follow that. All right. Amen. Jody, I got an envelope in that, in that, um, my binder. Amen. How many of y'all feel good today? How many of y'all have been with me on this journey for 21 days? Amen. How many of y'all was on this journey? How many of y'all weak, but you feel a little bit better in your soul? Amen. God bless you. Amen. Thank you all who went on this journey. I feel good. A little weak today. But if y'all say amen, I'll preach the best I can. Man, I'm so tired of fruit and vegetables. I don't want to see another strawberry, banana, or orange. I don't want to see another salad. I don't want to see no lettuce, tomatoes, or onions. Hey, man, I don't want to see nothing but, some, but the prime rib. And a cheesecake. And some barbecue chips. <laughs> For those who don't know, welcome visitors. I'm sorry, I didn't welcome my visitors. This is your first time visiting. Just wave at me. Amen. For those who don't know, we've been on 21 days, so if we look hungry and look like we're starving, just forgive us the day we are. The day you call we are. But we welcome you. Thank you for coming on this Resurrection Sunday. There are 5,000 churches in the city of Detroit. You could have picked any church today. 
because I'm sure they all open, they all jumping. Amen. They all got special things going on. But thank you for choosing the Citadel of Praise with us. So today, we want to get our church stuff out the way so we can, because I feel like we're just going to bless God today. Amen. We, we're not going to hold service long. Choir's going to come and give us a couple selection. I'm just going to preach. I should be done by 6.30. Amen. And we should be out. I'm kidding. Amen. But really, amen. So everybody, get your tithes and offering. Thank you. Ways to give is on your screen. If you'd like to give electronically, this is our only offering. We're not coming back. We're not a begging church. We ain't doing nothing special. Amen. We're not going to go in the back and count it and come back and say we're $25 short. Amen. We're not going to go in the back and come back and say we need 80 more dollars. Amen. What you give today is what we will receive. And I pray that you'll just be generous because God loves a cheerful giver. Amen. God bless y'all on today. Amen. If you got your offering up, amen. Hold your offering up today. He's a mighty God. How many of y'all just feel good though? Maybe it's just me. I am weak today, but I feel good in my spirit. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you on today. We give to you, not as a debt I owe, but as a seed I sow. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for our multiplication. Lord, many are yet struggling in their finances. Many don't believe in the concept of sowing, giving, and tithing. Amen. But we pray for everybody on today. Because you're that kind of God. And I pray for all the givers, whether it's in person, electronically, or whatever it is, that you will pour us out a special blessing on this week. Because your word said if we give to you, you will give back to us. Good measures. Press down. Shake it together. And run it over. Hallelujah. You're going to cause men to give back into our bosom. And many, we got needs. We, many of us have needs that need to be met this week. Many, God, have, we're behind on payments and bills. Many of us have just been lacking. Many of us have been careless with online gambling, casinos and stuff. Amen. But Lord, help us. Because we, we know with you, you can help us. And you can give to us, but we will lack nothing. We say yes to your will, yes to your way. Wave that seed and say, I won't be broke no more. Money coming to me, my family, my church, my community. Wave it like you mean it. Increase abundance more than enough. Amen. Amen. God bless y'all. Y'all can pass the place here. Somebody throw this in the plate for me, Jody. Thank you very much. Let me give y'all a few announcements um, why they're just passing the plates. Amen. Um, next Sunday, we have special guests on next Sunday. Amen. Evangelist Sandra Riley is going to be preaching on next Sunday. Citadel, we're back in, sir, we're back in two services. She will be preaching both services at 9 and 11. Amen. Will y'all come? Y'all, she's been here many times before. She's going to bless us on next Sunday. Amen. I know y'all going to enjoy her. Amen. Don't stay home. Amen. I know it's the Sunday after resurrection. Amen. But come on next Sunday and let's partake in the Lord on together. Join me on Tuesday Touch online this Tuesday at 7 p.m. It's not in person. It's online only. Online only. It's on our website, Facebook, and YouTube. Amen. Thank you all who joined me so faithfully on Tuesday nights. Thank you. Thank you so much. Jody, what am I missing? I can't remember things. Amen. Men's gathering. Brothers, save the day. Save the day. The men are going to hang out. It's good when God, when brotherly, when brotherly, godly brothers, brother, amen, can um, come together. We're just going to be hanging out, playing pool. Amen. I remember times saints couldn't shoot pool. Y'all don't remember that. Amen. We're going to hang out. Just save the day. $10. We're paying for all the food. $10 will get you everything. We'll tell you more about that on next Sunday, but just save the date. And we're not collecting money early. Just pay at the door and all of that. And um, sign up for our text blast. Amen. Sign up for our text blast. Amen. So you can keep up with what's going on and we can remind you. All right, quiet. Now y'all can come on up and get position. Take us on up a little higher. Amen. Y'all can come on up and get ready. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody say, let's have church. I tell you what, no, I don't want to have church. Let's bless the Lord. Amen. Sometimes we caught up on hand clapping and shouting and all that. Let's just bless the Lord today. How many of y'all God has been too good to this week? Hallelujah. Anybody he turned your life around? Anybody that should have been dead this morning? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Choir's going to bless us on this Resurrection Sunday. I know people waiting to come into the doors and us just filling all the seats and all the stuff. Y'all know what to do. Amen. God bless y'all today.
Hallelujah. He's a mighty God. Thank y'all. Y'all can bring them in now. Thank y'all. Amen. Thank y'all. Y'all can bring them in. Amen. Hallelujah. I think there are some seats all the way down front too. Come on, Pat. People looking for seats. Come on, be slow. People looking for seats now. Come on, y'all. Somebody say, say, choir. Bless the choir in Jesus' name. Well, we come to lift up the name of Jesus. Am I by myself this morning? We come to lift up the name of Jesus. Clap your hands with us. Oh, let us come and magnify the Lord. For he is great and worthy to be praised. Enter into his
and I'm here to testify. God is not dead, He is still alive. The same blood that was shed way back at Calvary is the same blood that's working now for me. Oh, His blood that redeems me from sin and stain of sin. His blood that reaches way, way deep down within. So you ask me how I made it and how I overcome. I can still say that His blood has made me whole. Yeah. I'm glad to report that it's over. Thank you for the blood, the blood of cheese.
Oh yes, how many of y'all know the blood still works? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody know about the blood that reaches to the highest mountain. The blood that flows to the lowest valley. Come on, put your hands together. Thank God for our music ministry. Hallelujah. God bless you on today. Mark chapter 16, just for a few minutes. I promise you I won't be long today. Hallelujah. He's a mighty God. Thank you, choir. Y'all did the thing. Y'all felt good today. Somebody been fasting for 21 days. Hallelujah. Drake, take some bass out of here, please. Amen. God bless you all today. Mark chapter 16. Read just a few verses on today. Let's begin at verse number one. Hallelujah. How many of y'all need a word today? How many of y'all need a word today? Thank God for everybody on today, all our leaders and everybody who's in the appropriate place. The Bible says in verse number one, maybe we'll read the verse number six. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Salome, bought spices so that they may go anoint the body of Jesus. Very early on the first day of the week, just after sunrise, they were on their way to the tomb. Yeah, that's what we're going to talk about, the tomb. I know it's Eastern, y'all like, huh? Every time I come, they talk about the resurrection. Maybe that's the only time. All right. Amen. Yeah, they were on their way to the tomb. <laughs> and they asked each other, who will? Roll the stone away from the entrance of the tomb. But when they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had been rolled away. And they entered the tomb. They saw a young man dressed in white sitting on the road on the right side. And they were alarmed. Don't be alarmed, he said. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified who was risen he is not here see the place where they laid him and the church said amen the bible says that verse number three they said to each other who will roll the stone away from the entrance of the tomb but when they looked up they saw that the stone which was very large, had already been rolled away. Brothers and sisters, on this Resurrection Sunday, I just want to preach from a very simple subject on the day, and I want to talk about the power of the resurrection. Amen. I want to talk about the power, amen, of the resurrection. The power of the resurrection. Resurrection, brothers and sisters, many of you all know this, but let me just remind you all, I know it's a good day to go to church and the weather's decent even though Easter fell early on today and I know it's a good time to get dressed and do the Easter egg hunts and all that and wear new clothes and I'm not mad at nobody congratulations power to you amen but the resurrection is the most important event in Christianity I'm gonna say that again for somebody in the back the resurrection is the most important event Amen. In the life of any Christian, it is unequivocally the centerpiece of everything that we believe. It is the foundation of our faith. It is the foundation of our belief as followers in Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, without the resurrection, y'all, amen. I, I said all the time, we really have no church. Without the resurrection of Jesus Christ, we might as well dismiss and go hang out at bowling alley. Might as well go kick in and play some pool. No need for us to be sitting in here in heavenly places in Christ Jesus if it had not been for the awesome resurrection of Jesus Christ. And I, one thing I love also about the resurrection, it is the only Sunday, amen, that, you, that all Christians, 99 
99.9% of the Christians, we are all preaching the same thing. I don't care what church you go to today. Go to a, amen, go to a Baptist church. We're talking about he rose again. Go to a Catholic church. They take a communion and saying he rose again. Go to a church of God in Christ. They shouting, running around, talking about he rose again. Go to the apostolic church. They're going to say you got to speak in tongues because he rose again. Go to the Pentecostal church. They're going to talk about raising money because he rose again. But we all are on the common theme, no matter if you go to a white church, black church, amen, a Hispanic church, whatever it is, everybody's talking today with the theme that Jesus rose again because with all our differences in the body of Christ, this is the one central theme. Because if you don't believe in the resurrection of Jesus Christ, you're not a church. If you don't believe in the resurrection of Jesus Christ, you're not a Christian. If you don't believe in the resurrection of Jesus Christ, you're really not a child of God. So all of us are preaching and next week we all go back to arguing about whether we should call it Easter or resurrection. Next Sunday we'll go back arguing about whether women should wear pants in church and stuff. Next week we'll go back to arguing about whether the saints should go see Beyonce concerts and stuff like that. Next week y'all will go back to arguing about, amen, do we believe in women preachers? We'll go back to all that. But one thing about it, ain't, aren't y'all glad today? Amen. That we all believe at least in the resurrection of Jesus Christ because the resurrection is a historical truth. Y'all stick with me. I'm going to lay a little foundation. I promise you I'm going to take y'all somewhere. Amen. Uh, this is a historical truth. You can look by, uh, you can go to any of y'all ever took a trip to the Holy Land. Amen. Uh, I've been offered to go to the Holy Land. I just don't want to go because it's too far. Amen. And I'm ghetto and I don't want to leave the United States. If it ain't Las Vegas, L.A., I ain't trying to go. Amen. Y'all pray for me. I just, amen. But I've been invited. I get invited every year to go to the Holy Land. Y'all just forgive me. I don't, I don't like long flights. I ain't trying to go. Jesus said he rose. I believe it. I don't need to go see the tomb. <laughs> I, I'm not mad at anybody. Anybody here been to the Holy Land? Y'all get old too. Y'all just go to Atlanta and New York and stuff. All right. All right. At least I'm in the right church. Amen. But every year I get pastors. Come. Come on, Spencer. Come on, man. We're going to see what Jesus was baptized and We're going to see what he was walked on water. As a matter of fact, they go and get rebaptized. Amen. In the river of Jordan. I'm like, no, nah, I'm cool. Y'all can baptize me at Belle Isle. Amen. I'm straight. Amen. But I say all that. <laughs> I, I say all that. Y'all pray for y'all. You take me right up to Palm Park. We straight, dog. <laughs> Amen. Y'all right. stop. Stop playing. I'm trying to preach. Hey man, this church is silly. But I say all that to say it is a historical truth and where I'm going with that, many people have gone to see it. And not only is it a historical truth, it is a doctrinal truth. Let me just break down a few doctrines, hey amen. It's the doctrinal truth because Jesus said, I am the resurrection. Somewhere in St. John, he said, I am the resurrection. Hey amen. He that believed in me, though he was dead. Y'all know the scripture? Yet shall he live again it's a doctrinal truth and brothers and sisters why we have to give it attention and I almost wanted to preach something else because I just didn't want amen to say I'm, I, you know let me just I preach the resurrection every time this year maybe something else but the Lord dealt with me and said you got to deal with the resurrection because this is the centerpiece of what we believe and he began to speak to me and he said if I had not rose again if I have not gotten up from the grave, amen, Jesus would be fraudulent. Let me say that again. If Jesus had not gotten up from the grave, he would be fraudulent. He would be a fraud in his person. He would be a fraud in his position. He would be a fraud in his practice. Jesus would be a fraud in his pronouncement. Brothers and sisters, the resurrection is important. It is a doctrinal truth because if Jesus did not get up, he is a martyr. Amen. Our preaching would be false. Our prayer would be worthless. Our pardon would be fraud. And our peace would be a forgery. If Jesus had not gotten up from the grave, amen, he would no longer Lord over sin. He would no longer Lord over sinners. He would no longer Lord over salvation. If Jesus, please catch this, had not gotten up, his deliverance would be disqualified. 
he would not be able to deliver us from this body of death. That's why Paul said, amen, oh wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from this body of death? If Jesus, brothers and sisters, had not gotten up, Satan would oversee the throne, overthrow the church, and overcome the power of God. If we don't talk about and believe in the resurrection, amen, his authority, his authenticity, his accuracy, his application of the word would be suspect. If Christ had not risen from the dead, there would be no acceptance of the Savior, no access to the Savior, or no acquaintance of the Savior. All right, y'all look at that might be too deep. Let me bring it down for y'all. If Christ had not risen, our lives would be miserable. All hope would be gone. But somebody today ought to thank God for the resurrection. Because of the resurrection, we got hope in the midst of fear. Hope in the midst of pain. Hope in the midst of trouble. Hope in the midst of faults. Hope in the midst of failure. That's why I came to preach to somebody. Because somebody today walked in without hope. Some of y'all just came because it's Easter and you wanted to make yourself feel good. But can I tell somebody today, if you were here without hope, amen, we serve, amen, a Christ, a God has risen. And because he is risen, all of our tears, all of our pains can be rolled away. What shall wash? Oh, I wish I had a church in here. That's an old song in here. What shall wash away my sins? Nothing. Where my old saints at? Let me, I got anybody over 40. Amen. What shall make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. How I go? Oh, precious. You know something? I like that. See, I can tell my old saints because we get happy over the old songs. Some of y'all like the new stuff. I ain't mad at you. Y'all keep listening to Kurt. That's fine. Amen. Y'all listen to Tasha Cobb. I ain't mad at her, but some of us just get happy. Oh, precious. Here's that flow. That wash. Where my old saints? White as snow, no others found I know nothing but the blood of Jesus. We like singing the songs at Calvary. Amen. The Lord multiplied, took my sins away at Calvary. Anybody y'all know that he washed away your sins? Because it reaches. That's all right. Let me keep moving. To the highest mountain. If See, I can tell my old saints to the lowest all right, let me get to my new saints. GP, are you with me? Yeah, there you go. GP, are you with me? We have church, we ain't going nowhere. Yeah, yeah. I ain't saving nobody. Yeah, yeah. All my people say. All my auntie say. I ain't mad at him because he's making more money than me. So I, I'm, But really, y'all, it's about the resurrection. Amen. He lives. He lives. Christ Jesus. Come on, come on, old saints. Lives today. He walks with me and talks with me alone. This, uh, yo, I, man, this narrow way. You ask me how. I know he lives. I'm in the wrong church. Good God Almighty. He lives in my heart. We got excited about that. And the reason why we got excited about that, because not only was the resurrection, y'all, a historical ish, uh, doctrine, not only, I'm sorry, not only was it a, a historical event, not only was it a doctrinal event or a doctrinal truth, but it's also a personal truth. That's why we get happy, y'all, because many of us, without the resurrection, y'all, we couldn't sit here today. Anybody ever been down? Amen. But the Lord lifted you up. Y'all, please stick with me. Anybody ever been down, y'all? You got friends, you got family, but it wasn't till God came in. Amen. Y'all, I said all the time, ain't nothing wrong with being down, but it is something wrong with staying down. Ain't nothing wrong sometimes with not being okay, but it is something wrong with staying not okay. Because the power of the resurrection give us the sanction to call it getting up power. Getting up power. Sometimes you just get up, amen, with the help of the Lord. And brothers and sisters, that's what we see here today in this text. That's what we see here. We see a personal truth. And I, I said all that just to get to my text. 
Amen. A personal truth because when you look in the book of Mark, Mark, I love the book of Mark because Mark just get right to the point. Mark ain't like Matthew, Mark, Luke, and stuff. When you go to chapter number one, they give you all this, and Jesus, he begot her, and he begot her, and in the beginning was this. Amen. Mark just said Jesus was baptized, went into Jordan, baptized, and went on. Mark is writing not as a theologian. Mark is writing just as a good Christian, as a good child of God. And Mark tells us about three women who the Bible says right there, number one, amen, when the Sabbath was over, he tells about three women who wanted to go anoint Jesus' body. They wanted to go anoint Jesus' body because they didn't finish the work on the day on Good Friday because they ran into the Passover. And when you run into the Passover, you can't do business, can't transact, amen. You can't do business on the Passover. So Jesus had died on Friday. So Sunday morning, they, they get up and they tell themselves, let's go finish. Let's go prepare and anoint Jesus' body because, again, we missed the time. We didn't get a chance to do it. And they wanted to just do their due diligence and do right by Jesus. But when you get to verse number three, Amen. Verse number three said, amen. Well, verse number two, so they want to pull it up. Amen. They said early, they got a verse number two. Verse number two, early the first day of the week. So they want to tell us, that's good. That's just good, good information. It was the first day of week. They got up on their way to the tomb. Here it is. Here's where we're going. Verse number three. They said while they were on their way, who shall roll the stone away? Here we go, y'all. Who shall roll the stone away. Here it is. We're on our way, but we are going to face a challenge. Who's going to roll the stone away? When you do your homework, when you do your research, y'all, the stone was very large. The stone weighed about one to two pounds, which weighed about two thousand, I mean, one to two tongues, which, 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 which translated into 1,000, 2,000 pounds. 1,000, 2,000 pounds, which means anybody just can't roll the stone away. You need about, you need about, you need about 9, 10, 12 men to roll the stone away with 1,000, 2,000 pounds. And they're getting up at sunrise. And they're saying, who's going to roll this big stone away? Ain't nobody up this early. Ain't nobody up at 6 a.m. Ain't no men just going to be sitting at the tomb talking about, what's up? You need some help? Amen. They presented with a question. And the question was, y'all, who shall roll the stone away? But here's what I love about this text. They have a question. They have a question they don't have an answer to. Please follow me. But I love this because at no point did they turn around and say, we might as well not go. Hold on. Hold on. My question, I wish these three women was here today. Mary, Martha, amen, and, and Salome. I, I would say, why y'all go to the tomb, amen, when there's a question that seemed that you have an impossible answer? What I like, y'all, they did not let an unanswered question stop their journey. Oh, y'all gonna make me work. They did not let an unanswered question stop their quest, stop their journey, they didn't quit the journey, although they were faced with unanswered questions. Brothers and sisters, you got to keep walking in your life. When you are walking through this life and you got questions about your life where you don't have answers. Y'all, hold on. Who shall roll the stone away? That stone is too big, but I'm going anyway. And I came to tell some. that's all I came to tell somebody on Easter Sunday. Because some of y'all came in, y'all know about the resurrection. But resurrection power helped us to walk when we don't have questions about, to, when we don't have answers about tomorrow. Somebody don't know if you're going to have a job this week. Somebody don't know if they're still going to be married this week. Somebody don't know if their bills going to be paid this week. But you don't quit the journey because you have unanswered questions. Walk on in Jesus' name. You walk when you're sick. You walk when you're going through. You walk when you have doubt. Anybody still walking? Anybody came to church and said, it took everything in me to get to church, but I couldn't stop this journey. My daddy used to sing a song that said, gotta make this journey somehow. Devil on my track, trying to turn me back, but I gotta make this journey
Elbow your neighbor and say, you got to keep walking. Hold on. How are we going to move the stone? I have no idea, but I got to keep walking. How the Lord going to heal my body? I don't have the answer, but I got the power. I, got, I know who do have the answer. How the Lord going to bless me? How he going to deliver me? I got my kids acting like they joined the circus. Baby, God said he going to be a God of the circus. I don't want just keep walking. Hold on. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I, I got an announcement. I got an announcement. I did all that just to get to this. Somebody said, you could have did that a long time ago. I could have. I just had to be a preacher. Brothers and sisters, please catch this. And some of y'all might want to tweet this. When God gets ready to do something great in your life, he always leaves out information. Y'all, if y'all want to know what the preacher talk about, that's the thing. When God is getting ready to do a miracle in your life, he always leaves out information. Why did he leave out information? Because we ought to walk by faith and not by sight. God leaves out information because when you get to the stone and the stone is already rolled away, he don't want your pastor taking credit. He don't want your husband taking credit. He don't want your boss taking credit. He don't want your, he don't want your family taking credit. He don't want your organization taking credit. Somebody ought to thank God. Some of y'all don't have information, but God said, I'm getting ready to do something great when I leave out information. When there's a question, get ready for me to work. All right, y'all don't believe me? Y'all don't believe me? Since y'all didn't say amen, y'all just added five minutes to the message. Amen. If I had time, if I had time, I'd take y'all back to the book of Genesis. When God told Abraham, go take your son Isaac as a sacrifice. He got Isaac, picked up Isaac, going up the mountain. And Isaac asked the question, Dad, where is the sacrifice? Oh, but here's the question. There, where is the sacrifice? Abraham said, I don't know, but I know the Lord will provide. Oh my God, I know the Lord will make a way. I know the Lord will open up door. All right, y'all didn't say amen. Let me take it to the book of Ezekiel. Ezekiel was put in the valley of dry bones. His question was, shall these bones... I feel the Holy Ghost. Shall these bones live again? God, man, amen. Ezekiel said, only thou knoweth. And God began to put the bones back together. The ankle bones to the knee bone. Knee bone to the thigh bone. Thigh bone to the hip bone. And the bone, he said, prophesy to them bones that you shall live again. Hold on, I'm about to make some of y'all preachers. Some of y'all better get home today and prophesy to everything in your house. This house shall live again. Some of y'all get to work tomorrow. Oh, y'all thought y'all just came for a good sermon. You came to be empowered. You better get to work this. Some of y'all need to get to work early. Some of y'all, what time y'all got to get to work? If you got to be at work at 9, get to work at 8.20 and just walk around there. The boss's office might be closed. Just lay your hands and prophesy on the door. This jiggy, that ain't the word I want to use. This witch with the other, yeah, all right, yeah, yeah. Y'all stay safe. Stay safe. Just say witch. But I know what you're thinking. You're thinking the other alphabet. This witch, when she get in here today, I bind everything. She will treat me better. She will. Oh, he told Ezekiel, prophesy to these bones. These bones will live again. Some stuff won't happen until it comes out your mouth. Some things won't change because that's the power of the resurrection. Baby, you better speak it. Hold on. I like another one. I like another one. Shadrach, Meshach, and a bad Negro. Amen. They was in the fiery furnace. Amen. And the king, oh my God, they said king, everybody had to bow. They didn't bow. They threw them in the fiery furnace. I like this. They said the God we serve is able to deliver us. Hold on. Here's the question. But if not, y'all don't know y'all Bible. They said, buddy, am I doing all right? But if not, we still ain't going to bow because he's well. Mary said she was impregnated with Jesus. She said, how can this be? And I don't know a man. I knew y'all weren't going to say man because ain't nobody here pregnant, ever been pregnant without a man. Oh, y'all that got pregnant, you was in something. 
But Mary wasn't in nothing. But he said, that which is conceived in you is of the Holy Ghost. And unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And the government shall be, oh, I wish I had a church. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. Who shall roll the stone away? I came to tell you if you keep pressing on your journey, God said the stone going to be moved away before you get there. The devil wants you to give up on the journey. The woman had an issue of blood. She said, if I can just press. Oh, my, I feel the Holy Ghost. Y'all forgive me. I've been fasting for 21 days. I'm hungry. This ain't all spirit. This, some, of, some of this is hunger. Amen. Uh huh. All right, sorry. Amen. She pressed. She said, if I can just touch. Oh, my God. The hem. And I like something. When you press, she touched the hem of his, hem of his garment. And Jesus backed up and said, who touched me? virtue has gone out my body baby I'm going to press so much that Jesus got to stop I'm going to press so much that Jesus got to bless I'm going to press so much I'm done because hold on verse number 4 verse number 4 y'all sit down I'm teaching verse number 4 but when they looked up oh my God you will never see the glory of God if you quit the journey. Amen. Oh, man, that's good. Somebody else need to tweet that. Somebody else need to chat snap that. Amen. There it is. There it is, a TikTok moment. Y'all, I went viral a couple weeks ago. Y'all know that? Did y'all see me? Over a million views. I was sweet. I was big time. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody posted something when I had the little video. Amen. I think it was almost two million views. I was big time. Somebody need to get all the offering to pay me. All right, never mind. I, I'm sorry. That was the flesh. Y'all forgive me. I'm hungry. <laughs> What was I preaching about? Uh, oh, are y'all praying for me? Yeah. Sorry, visitors that came to this church. This is what we do. We just happy because the glory of the Lord makes us happy. Glory of the Lord make the glory of the Lord make it rich and having no sorrow. Amen. Hold on, but you will never see. Please write this down, y'all. I know I'm silly. I know I'm hyper, but I got to give y'all facts. You will never see the glory of God if you quit the journey. If you ever stop. Quit the journey. Can y'all imagine if they would have said, ain't nothing here, stone in the way, huh? What we wait, we wasting our time. Uh, let's go on back home. Uh, ain't nobody running around there. What we going down there for? Matter of fact, if they had some friends like y'all, some of y'all like that, y'all about to eat. Y'all some idiots. Going all the way to that stone, carrying all them spices and stuff and all that, and all that material jacked and all saved. Ain't nobody gonna move that stone. But maybe when they got there, oh my God, they looked up and saw the stone, which was very large, has been rolled away. And I came to tell somebody, y'all, when you walk by faith, God said, I'm getting ready to remove every stone. Stone of finances, stones of health, stones of depression. Anybody been suicidal? God said, I'm taking every suicide spirit out of your life. I'm getting ready to roll away the stone that's been blocking you. I'm getting ready to get everything that's not like me out of your life, but you can't quit the journey. All right, I'm closed. I got one more point. Let's go. One more point, y'all, and, and somebody go over there and tell them save me some pizza. Uh, one more point, uh, verse number five. Verse number five. Hold on, here it is, y'all. Here it is. And when they entered the tomb, they saw a young man, which is an angel, dressed in a white robe, sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. They were a little alarmed. They were alarmed because you know, even though they were pressing, oh, oh, this, oh, this is good. They alarmed. They were alarmed because just because you're pressing don't mean you're always walking in faith. Oh, hold on. Y'all, can I say something that y'all might not like? Because y'all don't think I'm that spiritual? I want God to do something I ain't even thought about. Hold on. I want God to blow my mind. How in the world are you going down and you ask who's going to move the stone away? You got there, y'all, and you were alarmed. That means he can do abundantly, exceedingly. Y'all ain't got enough faith for me. I want God to blow. Somebody say, God, blow my mind. God, do more for me than what I can think. Lord, here it is. I want you to do stuff I ain't even prayed about. I want you to do stuff I'm scared to pray about. Lord, open up doors that no man can open. Hold on. Here's the point. Number six. Am I doing all right? Y'all glad y'all came on Easter? All right. All right. Here it is. Don't be alarmed because I'm tripping. I want God to make me trip. 
I want to come out here, y'all, have a testimony, try to preach about something, and I go to stuttering. Hold on. Hold on. I want to, I'm serious. I want to come out and say, see, here's what had happened. He, it, it just. <laughs> y'all just missed it. I can't even explain it. Let's go to shouting. I want God to blow my mind. See, I was on my way, and they called, and he came. That's when you know God did something for you. Like, y'all gonna be like, what he shouting about? <laughs> Baby, the joy that I have, the miracle that I have, the Bible says, you're looking for Jesus. Hold on. He is not here. He is risen. He is not here. See the place where we laid him. Another truth. Here's another truth. Only time in the Bible where the miracle was Jesus not being there. Oh, my God. And, and it's good. And it's good. The only thing is good. Amen. Only place in the Bible where the miracle is Jesus not being there. Everywhere else you go, he showed up. Everywhere else you go, he was right on time. But it's the only place in the miracle, where the, I mean only place in scripture where the miracle was, he is not there. Oh my God. He is not, all, you know, all right, y'all looking at me strange. Y'all, if I turn this mic loose, y'all will say, girl, Jesus showed up. He came through. He was there. I don't know how. I don't know when, but the Lord came through. But the Lord, amen, he's not there in this text. And here it is, y'all. Amen. The reason why he was not there. Can I take y'all back to Good Friday? Good Friday, y'all, he was on the cross. He was on the cross, nails in his hand, nails in his feet, amen, going through, man, crown on his head, being mocked. It was so bad, he said, Eli, Eli, lama sabethani, which means, my God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? Y'all, on Friday, he died. They were alarmed because Jesus was not at a place where dead folks supposed to be at. Y'all slow. Let me give it to you. Hey Amen. Some of y'all, you, man, you're not going to be where people, people look at what you've been through and they expect you to still be dead. Oh, y'all got it. People expect you to be depressed because they told you you was black, you was ugly. People wanted you to be broke because they walked out your life. People wanted you to be lonely because they ain't your friends. Baby, you looking for somewhere for me to be at and I ain't there. I ain't lonely. I ain't depressed. I ain't confused. I got myself together and I'm walking in heavenly places because he that shall come will come look at your neighbor and say surprise I'm still alive surprise I'm still here you thought just because you left me baby I've been married four times since you left you think just because the doctor said no God said yes I'm not in the grave because that's where you think I ought to be because of what I've been through That's it. <laughs> it take a whole lot to please y'all. Dang. I've been on fat. I'm on fruit and vegetables. I'm hungry. That's it. Hold on. Hold on. How many of y'all got y'all self together? That people thought you ought to be broke. Hold on. Where my women at? That some Negro left you and thought he was all that. And you found something ten times better. I was about to say bigger, I meant better. I'm sorry, I'm, oh, I, I, I said better. Stop. I, I meant bigger, y'all so nasty. I like to, y'all ain't been fasting. You found something 10 times. Are y'all coming back? I'm not supposed to do this on Easter. I'm supposed to have on my clergy robe and my best behavior. How many of y'all found something better? Or bigger, or whatever. He thought he was doing all that. You found out it wasn't about nothing. He said you wasn't going to be nothing. How many of y'all got fired from a job and the devil might have made you think he was going to be on welfare? But baby, I ain't at the place where you laid me. The miracle is I'm not where you think I should be. I ain't in the unemployment line. I ain't in the crazy house. I ain't depressed. I ain't going cuckoo for cuckoo puss. I'm clothed and in my right mind. Somebody ought to get yourself together. Get up from that place. Get yourself together and tell the Lord, here am I. I'm done. I'm done. Can I do one more point? Let's do one more point, y'all. Elbow somebody and say it one more time. Surprise. I'm still alive. Aye, aye. 
I don't know why I'm stuck here. I ain't that broke down machine you thought I was going to be. I ain't depressed. I may not look like I ought to look. I might not be where I ought to be, but thank God I'm not where I used to be. Y'all stop letting people see you down. Baby, you got to fake it. Get yourself together. Get your hair done. Buy you some new clothes. Baby, take yourself to the Maxwell concert. If you don't want to go, I'll go listen to the love songs all by myself and be just as happy. You don't want to take me to Cancun, I'll buy my own ticket. Because I'm not where you think I ought to be. Folks kill me. And the surprise is, y'all, they don't know what to do with you when you still walking. They don't know what to do with you. That's why Negroes always come back when you got somebody else. I, I'm meddling now. Y'all forgive me, I'm meddling. I feel my daddy spirit, lady bitch. I'm, I'm an old preacher. Women help me out, because I'm, I'm not a woman. But you have a dude, they keep ignoring you, but soon as you get you a new boo, what's up girl, you don't miss me? Hell no. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. I mean, you know. Negro, I don't miss you. Hold on, because people can't stand to see you happy. As long as they see you on Facebook all by yourself, and that's why some of y'all need to stop posting stuff on Facebook. Here I go again, it's just me and God. Stop all that. Amen, say I'm happy with me and God. I can't believe God is doing all this with just me. I can't believe I got a new car, ain't nobody put a down payment down for me. I can't believe God put me in office and I ain't even got a whole, I ain't got a popular name. Baby, God's gonna blow my mind and people can't handle when they see you doing well cause they still want you to be in the grave. But I ain't there. I'm alive in Jesus. I'm alive in Jesus. I got my strength back. I got my mind back. I got my joy back. And the joy that I have, I, I feel a preaching here. The joy that I have, I, the world didn't give it to me. And the world. Where are the days by myself? Oh my God. One more point. I want to set somebody free. Sit down. I'm sorry. Sit down one more time. Verse number nine. Verse number nine. He is not here. Hold on. I'm going to set some of y'all free. Because some of y'all people told you what you couldn't be. People told you who you can't be in Christ. People doubted you. People could put their foot on your neck. But I like something. Because the Bible says Jesus rose early the first day of the week. Got out of the grave. And the, he appeared first. To Mary Magdalene. Here's the shout, y'all. The first person Jesus appeared to was a woman who he had driven. Y'all don't know when to shout. All right, y'all gonna act like that. Some of y'all still got seven with you. Some of y'all still got two. But thank God, God still shows up to people with a horrible past. Stop talking about my divorce. Stop talking about my pregnancy. Stop talking about me being in jail. The first person Jesus showed himself to was a woman who had seven devils. She was the first preacher. He didn't show himself to the Pope, to the preacher first. He showed himself to this whole seven demons in her. But God showed up and spoke to her and revealed himself unto her. Baby, stop, stop letting the devil keep you down in your spirit and tell the devil, he who the son has set free is free indeed. I'm done, y'all. The power of the resurrection. Baby, this ain't just a one-day event. When I leave here Easter Sunday, I'm getting up tomorrow with power. I'm getting up with Tuesday with power. I'm getting up with Wednesday with power. You might know my past, but God knows my future. You might know my sins, but God knows my salvation. Baby, what can wash away my sins? God already took away my sins. Come on, somebody praise him right there. Everybody stand it. I'm done. Brothers and sisters, we're going to pray. Don't let nobody tell you what you can't be. Don't let nobody tell you what you can't do. He driven seven demons out of her, and he's, she's the first person he reveals himself to after 
his most glorious resurrection. That means, y'all, that you can't hold me down because of my past. That's the power of the resurrection. Brothers and sisters, I'm done. Today cannot be a one-day event. When we leave here today, somebody better wake up different. Somebody need to wake up stronger. Somebody need to wake up and take the authority back that the devil stole from you. The devil tell you what well, you did. You used to smoke weed. You used to do this. Yeah, thank you for reminding me. Amen. But he, amen, he washed away all my sins and put them in the sea of forgetfulness. And don't let spiritual scuba divers, as we call them, go down and get your sins and bring them back up. He didn't condemn her. Matter of fact, y'all read it when you get home. She was the first preacher. He said, go tell the disciples. I'm still alive. Here's a woman with a crazy past. If I had seven demons, y'all wouldn't even be here. Hey, I ain't going there. I heard about him. Yeah, remember he was in the paper. Yeah, he, he had a few demons and stuff. And I, mean, I ain't going to him. Hold on. Y'all know it. But Jesus showed up. I'm going to pray. I'm done. When I get done praying, here's what I want real quickly. And thank you for standing. You won't stand long. Here's what I want. Because somebody got to get out from you. Or number two, you got to help somebody get to the altar. Y'all forgive me. I know I'm silly and kind of, and kind of, and kind of, you know, yeah, risque and say stuff. But that's how we think. And I want to be real. But today I'm so serious. I don't want today just to be a one-day event. I want you to wake up tomorrow better. Tuesday, better. The devil's going to face you when you get home and say, how was resurrection service? That demon going to reach you right there. How was service? That devil don't care. You're going to tell that devil, baby, I'm still alive. That's how service was. I'm not where you think I ought to be. When I get done praying, I want you to ask your neighbor. When I get done praying, you need me to walk with you? Come on, I'll walk with you. Let's, I'm, I want to do this together. I want to be my brother's or sister's keeper. When I get done praying, I want somebody who needs salvation. We want to offer Christ to you on today because you need Christ. You can't walk this walk without Christ. Number two, you want special prayer? I want you to come. Number three, you want to become a member of our church? This is a good time to come. You can walk down or they'll put it on the screen how you can do it electronically if you don't want to walk. But you might want to walk and get prayer. Somebody be down front, I think. Amen. They'll take your information. We'll send you something. Welcome you. I'd love to be your pastor. My wife, love to be your first lady. Amen. God's telling some of us, y'all, I know it's Easter. I know COVID's over. It's time for some of us to get back into the body of Christ. I know the church ain't perfect. Yes, we got faults. You want to be part of a crazy church and a church with a whole bunch of faults? Come to this one. But if you want to be part of a sincere church with a bunch of nuts, you're in the right place. Because we know, because every day with Jesus, sweeter than the day before, and we know God is helping us. But we still press it on this journey. But we are very, we might not be perfect, but I will say this, y'all. We are sincere as we can be. I don't play with God. I might be risky, do stuff crazy and stuff, speak crazy. But I'm, I, I, I'm so serious about God because he's the only one that can bless us. He's the only, only. All right, I'm going to pray. When I get done, I want the people to start moving. And you can come this way and they'll put the ways you can become a member. Amen. On our screen or you can come down. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, help us on today. Lord, help us because many people in here today, thank you, Holy Ghost, hallelujah, they're still walking in doubt. They're still asking the question even after I preached it. Yeah, Pastor, that sounds good. I appreciate your hot, your, 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 your anointing. I appreciate you being hype, but I still got a question this week because the doctor told me they can't figure this thing out. I pray today, God, who shall roll the stone away? I pray even before they get to the doctor again this week, that is already going to be worked out. Somebody say, Pastor, I got six bills at home that's past due. I ain't got no check coming. Who's going to roll the stone away? Lord, I'm believing you. The stone's supposed to be big. The question is not supposed to have answers because God's about to blow our minds. But I want you to go home and lay hands and speak to it. Prophesy to every demon, every spirit in your house, on your job. Hallelujah. Father, I pray for that person on today. 
that they will get a fresh anointing of faith. They will get a fresh anointing of, amen, of, of favor. They will just get a fresh inspiration that I don't know how, but I'm not quitting this journey. I'm not turning around. One thing I'm not going to do, pastor, I don't care if you're not preaching next Sunday, I'm going to be here. I don't care who's going to be on Tuesday touch, I'm going to be here. Amen. 6 a.m. prayer might be done, but I'm getting a prayer by myself because I'm on this journey because I can't quit this journey. Give somebody strength. Do it right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Put those hands together. Come on, preachers. Give God a praise. Before you take your seat, come on, let somebody out. Then you can be seated. Come on, let somebody out. Come on, matter of fact, action neighbor. You want me to walk with you? Come on. I'll walk with you. Let's not take this stuff home. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Y'all can be seated. Thank you so much. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. His son. There you go. Come on, God sent this son. They call him Jesus. God forgive me. I get happy off this stuff. He came to love. There you go. There you go. You land for Come on, y'all. We're leaving in five minutes. You want to become a member? You can scan that QR code. Yeah, sing the song. To buy my pardon. Yes, sir. How many of y'all know the words at home? Empty While they singing, you all that's at home. Put it on the screen at home. My Some of y'all have said. Some of y'all told y'all self, I'm not going back to church. Because it's too much mess. God said, do not give up on this journey. Don't quit this journey. Make this journey. Come on. Type your name in the comment section. We're going to pray for you. Because the devil wants you to quit. Who's going to roll the stone away? I don't know. But God's going to do it. God's going to do it. Hallelujah. God, type the name. Type the name so we can pray for you. Woo, I like this. It makes me feel better.
feel the pride. Yo, I like this. I like these words. And joy he brings. Somebody wrote this out of experience. Greater steel. Thank you, Jesus. The call. Come on, somebody to keep coming before we go home. Come on, before we go home. Come on. Come this on. child can face uncertain days because God lives. All right, then. come on, everybody. Oh, say, because, because he, lives. he lives. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, keep coming. I come on. Face tomorrow. Yes, God. Because he lives. No matter what it is, come all on. fear is gone. God bless you, young lady. God bless you. Gone. First lady, Tish, if you don't mind, Tish, one prayer. Tish, where's Tish? Oh, she's right here. She's having surgery on Tuesday. We want to pray for her. She wants first lady to pray. I respect first lady's anointing. My feelings are not hurt. Amen. But y'all, come on. Come on, auntie. Pray with her. Because he Because, because he Come on, y'all. We done. I know y'all got to get to brunch. I'm going to get y'all there. Come on. Because Pray for your mom. Come on, mom. I'll pray for you. When somebody point in this direction, she carrying oxygen. I believe God. I believe. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, her daughter brought it down. You see the things she's carrying? I don't know what the doctor said. I thank you for the doctors, but you're a bigger doctor. I thank you for the surgeons, but you're the real surgeon. Lord, do it right now. Whatever issue it is, oh, hot top on sick. Lord, oh, glory, thank you. I press it to this hand here. I press it to her hand, strength. In the name of Jesus, she will get better. Her latter years will be greater than her former years. She will be healed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, she rolled a stone away. God said, I got it. God said, I got it. God bless you. Let the tears flow. You just want to sit down? Let the tears flow. Yeah, give us some tissue. God bless you, mother. You all right? Go on, my own. Amen. That's God. That's the spirit of God. Come on, somebody else. Come on. We're done. We're done. Come on. geographically challenged children hospitals that way point in that direction before he get to the hospital he left his child in the hospital to come to church you know you got faith because I don't know if I leave my baby y'all know that's my baby but he said I gotta press and get to Jesus and I pray because of his press when he leaves church and get back to children oh glory thank you hot time on that it's already gonna be turned around I pray before he hit the freeway oh my god his wife gonna call and say baby it's turning around. Go ahead and pray. It is so we sing in the children's hospital. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Not by power, nor by might, but by thy spirit. In Jesus' name. Do it, God. He pressed. He said, who shall roll the stone away? I don't know, but I got to get to church. Who shall roll? What the doctor's going to say when I get back? I don't know. I got to get to church. But I pray that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Do it, God. Do it, God, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Come on, Rachel, let me pray. Somebody anoint her. Amen. She got a sensitive prayer request that I'm not going to tell. But the devil tried to mess with her children. The devil got people messing with her children. The devil, you are a liar. She should be with her child. But today she said, I got to press. Who shall roll the stone away? I don't know. I got to press, though. I don't know. And I pray before she get back home. Which direction you live in? Do you know which? You live in Redford? Which way is Redford? Redford is that way. Pointing at Redford. Come on, y'all. We sending God to Redford. Before she get her hot top, oh, she, oh, glory. 
that is already going to be turned around. I pray for she get home. Things going to already work out. I pray, God, even while she's shaking. That's her child, baby. Come here. Come here. Um, come here now. Just, just, just wrap. She just need to cry. Baby, it's all right to release it. That's your baby. Somebody messing with your baby. Somebody violating your child. Baby, let the tears flow. Let it flow. Do it right now. I point to Redford. Before she get home, I speak healing already in the name of Jesus. Do it, God. By faith. Who shall roll the stone away? I don't know, but do it, God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Somebody else needs special prayer? Come on. Come on. Y'all forgive me. If you got to go, just go ahead. I just feel, I feel God is just doing something in this place. This ain't just an Easter service. This is a deliverance service. Who shall roll the stone away? Baby, I don't know. Come on. Let me pray. Somebody annoy her. Amen. whatever it is. Sometimes you got so much as whatever. Lord, I got so many issues. Just pick one. I ain't mad at you in the name of Jesus. Lord, I got so many issues. Just pick one. Which one you want to do? Baby, I claim it. God said, I need your much urgent that we need. Right now, it is all glory. Thank you. Do it, God. Do it. Who shall stand before us? Will we call on oh, that great name? That name Jesus. Amen. 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 God bless y'all. One more time, y'all. We done. We going home. Everybody standing. We done. Just sing this one more time. Take this home with you. This is how we used to dismiss service. Grace and I used to just wake up and be asleep the whole service. But we woke up in time. your kids. Do not forget. We're not going to be at the 5 o'clock. We got the dinner. Tell my way little Johnny. He over at the school. Go get your teenagers. Matter of fact, your teenagers will walk over, but you got to pick up your children because we don't want to just release them to anybody. God bless y'all. Tell somebody I love you. Y'all have a blessed day. Hallelujah. God bless you, Sister Gail. Good to see you. And daughter, what's up, girl? Twin? I'm speaking. I'm saying hi. You so ready to get to him. I know I'm not as... Oh, go ahead. No, get the kids. All right. How you doing? I'm just speaking. Great to see y'all. I miss y'all. How you doing?